a slow start to the knockout stages when big time rivals DTS and ACFA tried to cancel each other out to reach to the semi finals of the under 13 group. With no punches being held back, both coaches had to bring their A game if they were to continue their journey towards the semi finals. Luck was not on DTS coach Mudisa's side as they succumbed to a 2 1 defeat by Coach Pro's ACFA. Ah, game was a bit slow. Um, I think maybe the heat took, took a bit out of energy, took a bit of energy out of the game. Um, with, with, with regards to the way we, we had set up to play, um, a large part of it was, was, was hinging on the energy factor of that. Um, and in the end, we, we, we have to succumb to a 2-1 to to defeat. Um, yeah, I can't say that we, we played the way we wanted to play. Uh, maybe the last 10, 10 minutes is, is the only time when we actually saw the elements that we were working on through, throughout the week. But yeah, a bit disappointed. But throughout the course of the year, definitely. Yeah, definitely. From where we started to where we've grown up until this point, I think major steps. Uh, my, my target for the entire year has been to prep these boys to be able to function in an 11 v 11 system. And the only element that I think the next coach will have to work on is, is the, the offside in defending. Other than that, the boys structurally, they, they, they're, a lot better when, they're a lot better now as opposed to when we started. So I'm happy with the progress, irrespective of today's result. Development-wise, definitely. Um, if I can maybe single out one or two players. Uh, Holland, for example, last year was, was, wasn't as sharp as he is today the goalkeeper definitely um, uh, yeah so so there are definitely one or two elements or players in the team that that really stood out in terms of development taking that next next step to be able to function like I said in the 11 v 11 system where it's not always just about thumping the ball forward but more about making a forward pass even if you are a defender no man, the game was fair. I, I don't want to complain a lot about the game because you know most when you're coaching kids sometimes you need to guide them. As long as the coach you have to lead by example. The more you start complaining, it also goes to the kids. But I think the game was fair, fair, fair. I, I, I don't need to complain. The game was okay. Now nah, you know when you're playing finals, I just told them guys, let's just get our goals because we cannot play football all the time. We know we are they know us because of playing football. But I told them guys, if you wanna proceed to the next round, just get our goals, then it's done. Now nah, for now I think I'm okay everywhere. I don't need to, I, but the boys, they just, need, they just need to push and push and push. And now I don't need to say anything about the, the, the position and this and stuff. Now I know that it's, it's good for the boys. I know these guys that were working hard in the training, I can see they want it more. That's what I'm happy about. I'm happy about the boys because you can see the smile on their faces. You know, it's hard when you lose a match and you were working hard at training and this and stuff. But I'm proud of these boys. They are working, they are working throughout the year. So they deserve, I think they deserve to be in the finals. Oh, come on! Yes! Oh. DJ Dawson.